Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and I'm a senior nursing student at the University of Florida. Um, this channel is all dedicated to talking about nursing, a ketogenic diet and lifestyle, as well as clean and non-toxic living, beauty and hygiene products. Um, thank you so much for subscribing and liking if you do already and if you don't, please comment, like and subscribe. Uh, I'd love to get to know you. Follow me on Instagram, all that goodness, good stuff will be tagged um, in the description below. So welcome. It's just an update before I get started on everything that you need to bring to clinical. Um, I first wanted to draw attention to uh, my hair and how uh, much healthier it is uh, now that I've switched to uh, Beauty Counters Smooth and Control Shampoo, Conditioner, and Hair Oil. Um, so I will link that below in the description. Like, it's night and day difference. If you look at my past videos and my older Instagram photos versus now, um, it's just so much better. So um, go find that if you want to, it'll be in the description below. And I'm also going to post all of my makeup that I'm wearing right now in the description below as well. So you can go click the links and get all that stuff. Um, to start, I wanted to say that clinicals can be very stressful and you have to wake up really early. Most of them, I think all of them are during the day hours. So our clinicals started around 6.30 a.m. and went around from like 1 p.m. or like and later on uh, throughout the semester to 3 p.m. So you are waking up really early. You don't have things to do. Uh, you don't have time to do things last minute. You really need to be prepared and have all your food, your lunch and everything, uh, all your supplies packed um, the night before you have to go. So um, the first thing, I'm gonna talk about like the bare essentials, have a badge clip. Um, this seems very like an obvious thing, but I didn't have one. Um, and I had to scramble to find one at the last minute. So you can uh, click your badge on here um, and it just clips to your collar and then you'll have your like school ID. And then um, along with the badge, I got these things on Etsy. I wish I got them earlier. Um, it's these, a Sharpie and a highlighter. Um, so it's right there. You can just click it off if you need it. Um, in nursing, we have to sign um, IVs or uh, medications that we hang through the IV pump and we have to sign them initial with a Sharpie. So it comes really handy when you're like trying to do a bunch of things and you can just like pull this off your badge. And then um, I always, when I get to the hospital, I always clip one of these, uh, we call them Curos, to uh, my badge just so when I'm changing IV caps, um, it's just right there and I don't have to reach around and risk um, in, uh, risk contaminating the sterile IV cap. So, and things. Everything that I have uh, from Etsy, I'll put in the description below as well. I didn't find this until last semester either, and it's actually this nursing clipboard that is really comes in comes in handy a lot. Um, so basically in clinical, you're going to have to get report and you're gonna have to learn how to do SBAR and handoff and all those things. So you really need to be organized. And when you start, your clinical professor will probably give you handouts and things that they want you to fill out during clinical, like a full head to toe assessment or um, like medications and calculations and all that stuff. So now that I'm in transition, I print out my own report sheets, which I have um, in my link tree on my Instagram if you wanna go and print those out. Um, it's a Google Doc and then I'm gonna, those are um, five patients per page, but I'm also gonna create a new one with just one patient per page. Um, I'm trying to still figure out which one that I like more. Uh, this is very condensed, obviously, as you can see, um, each patient doesn't get a lot of space, but it's what works when you're a busy med surge and you have lots of patients to see and you need to keep track of a lot of information. Um, so this clipboard I've got on Amazon, I think it was around 20 bucks, super worth it. And it has all of these um, like shortcuts on it. So it tells you all of the electrolyte and chem values, um, the different injection sites and pupil sizes, as well as um, IV gauges and um, metabolic alkalosis, like a um, ABGs and um, the EKG over here and different like temperature conversions and sepsis SERS alert. So a lot of like quick handy things, like especially when you're a nursing student and you get asked questions and you like don't know what to answer or you don't have values memorized already. Like I have um, all my different electrolytes up here that I can just glance at and you know start memorizing. If you don't have all that memorized yet, this comes in a lot of handy um, so you can just have it on you and you're gonna need a clipboard anyways to keep all your papers together. So I recommend getting this one. I'll put it in the description below. As far as pens, pencils, all that kind of stuff, bring with me um, the scissors that I got when I started uh, nursing school at orientation. Uh, you can also get this at like a scrub store if they don't, if your school doesn't give it to you. But um, these come in handy when you're um, trying to cut tape or um, get someone's IV off them or you know, there's so many random times when I need scissors and I don't have time to like go around looking for them. So I always have a pair of scissors with me. Um, always a red pen, just so you can circle things that are impor important or urgent on your report sheet. And um, I take report in a pencil um, because you can always erase things that change. Or if you wrote something wrong, you can always erase it. Um, and it's just important to be able to have that when your sheet, your report sheet is so small that you can't like be crossing stuff out and like rewriting it. A pencil really allows you the flexibility to change that, obviously. And then just a regular pen for, you know, writing other things. Um, so those are the, the pens that I bring. And then this is obviously, you want to have a stethoscope. Um, mine is the Littman 
I mean, I honestly can't tell you if there are like better stethoscopes out there. I know this one was like around 100 bucks and I can hear everything fine. Plus I got it um, engraved with my name and I was able to um, actually engrave it around here too, if you can see. So that's very personal, it's very special to me, my first uh, stethoscope during nursing school. So um, yeah, I just got it on the Lippman website, I think. And then I will put that in the description below as well. As far as like random things that in my experience I've found that I've needed, um, mints. Surprisingly enough, you can't be going around like chewing gum uh, while you're in the hospital, but you know, you're running around, you've had your coffee, your snack, and you know, you don't have time, you're not gonna bring a toothbrush and all that stuff. So having some mints on you can really help, just freshen your breath because you are in your patient's face a lot and you might be leaning over them or whatever, and you just wanna be a fresh breath. The alcohol swabs that we use for everything, um, I only have them at home because I find them in my pockets at the end of the day. As soon as you get to your unit in the hospital, I recommend that you go to wherever their supply cabinet is and you stuff a bunch of these alcohol swabs in your scrub pocket along with um, saline flushes because it will help you tremendously when you're flushing an IV or you're trying to push a medication and you don't have anything on you. So um, these come in handy. Uh, um, hand sanitizer. So the unit has their own hand sanitizer, obviously, but sometimes it like can leave your hands feeling really weird. Um, but it's regulation that you use their hand sanitizer, and I get that. Um, but when I leave and I go to lunch, um, I always bring my own hand sanitizer with me. This is Everyone, and it's made with, um, it's 99.9% .9 effective against common germs, and it's made with spearmint and citrus essential oils and alcohol. Um, so it's a lot safer than those other really harsh sanitizers. So I always keep this in my lunch box with me. Is this, um, lip conditioner by Beauty Counter because my lips get so dry. If you've ever worked in a hospital before, you know the air is really dry in there. Um, and surprisingly, it can be either really, really cold or really, really hot. And that's because they're trying to keep patients warm. So you're either gonna be on two ends of the spectrum. And so I always keep um, this lip conditioner on me because it just soothes my lips when they feel dry and cracked and I haven't been able to get a ton of water in me. I always bring snacks. So um, I bring a lunch too, but snacks are really important when you have a ton of different things to do and assignments and you're just trying to get everything done and you need something Thing to kind of push through and I either have um, a quest bar I really like this new flavor it's um, double chocolate chunk uh, there's only um, four net carbs so this is good for keto obviously the ingredients aren't as great as real food but um, you have to do what you have to do in a pinch and this isn't gonna give you a huge sugar crash so and it's 20 grams of protein so it does keep me full for a really long time I find so I will have an RX bar every now and then I love this chocolate sea salt flavor um, honestly to me it's like a dessert and I just really love this so that's another option for you as well you always want to bring a massive water bottle and a travel coffee mug if you're a coffee or a tea drinker I find um, my hydro flask uh, comes in handy a ton and I just fill it up and it keeps the coffee hot for a really long time Not sponsored by them or for like a lot of these products um, but I just genuinely trust Hydro Flask and they're really devoted to sustainability and if you go here's a hack if you go get coffee in your break and you bring your refillable mug you usually get a discount um, you know whatever that is for whatever coffee company you're going to but um, we have two in our hospital and you save on both of them if you bring a reusable cup so and um, I bring my Hydro Flask which is my water bottle my go-to water bottle it is I think this is a 32 ounce one and I really like it I try to drink um, two of these every shift every 12 hour shift at least um, to keep me hydrated because you really don't realize how dehydrated it can get when you're running around all day so all right well I think that's everything that I have um, yeah <laughs> any questions on anything else that I bring um, leave it in the comments I would love to hear your suggestions and what you want to see more from this channel again thank you for watching um, naturally Heather go find me on Instagram at naturally underscore Heather and uh, like comment and subscribe to my channel I'll see you guys next time I hope you enjoyed this video